November 28th, Tuesday, 2017. It is day 313 in the Donald Trump Zionist regime. Every day I can't help but notice it seems like Donald Trump is building a defense. Yeah, sort of like a not guilty by reason of insanity plea bargain. I mean, it just seems that way. It's weird. And there are reports coming out that quite possibly Donald Trump might not be a liar at all. He might just be truly delusional. Now, you know, every day they come up with something different. But wouldn't that be weird if Donald Trump actually believes his lies? Kind of reminds me of that crazy Don, uh, Vincent the Chin, used to walk around with his bathrobe, but he was pretending to be crazy to stay out of jail. And then you got Al Capone in his bathrobe, who probably was crazy. This is what this whole thing reminds me of. Donald Trump as the president, acting crazy, delusional. It's almost like a, he's getting ready to plead not guilty by reason of insanity. Well, we'll know for sure when he invites all the White House photographers in, and he, there he is in his bathrobe. We'll know then that Mueller is hot on his tail and Jared Kushner is worried. So there are quite a few quacks out there who think that Donald Trump is delusional. Half of America already believes that. The other half doesn't know what to think. And then you got the 70, 80-year-old pensioners who think their pensions are still safe. I mean, they're going to stick with Trump until they see the bathrobe picture. Okay, well, it's one thing for a quack or myself to say that Donald Trump is delusional. It's another thing to prove it. Well, let's go over some of the things we hear Donald Trump talk about every day. Okay, he talks about the uh, no-show Democrats. Then he says North Korea will take care of North Korea. Um, he talks about Pocahontas. He talks about the Democrats. He talks about the Koreans. And then he goes down and he talks about consumer sentiment. He says that uh, it's never been better. He quotes these numbers that come from the government. And then he goes to the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq. He goes to the Roosevelt Room. I mean, this guy's all over the place. Now, it is true that a crazy, insane person is constantly multitasking in their damaged brain, unable to focus correctly on what's important. I mean, their mind is everywhere. So, I mean, what would a normal person be focused on? If you were the leader of the country, what would you be focused on? You'd be focused on 95 million Americans out of the workforce. Yes, but not Trump, no. Not the sweatshop Princess Ivanka. I mean... Here she is over in India. Yeah, it's pretty apparent that they don't care about Americans. I mean, Ivanka cares about all those little Chinese girls who are going to work in the factories. All those little girls in India who are going to work for pennies in the factories. Well, since she's over there, now if only she can convince the peasants to make clothes that last more than six wash cycles. Yes. Oh, well, who, who the hell am I kidding? I mean... To the unwashed masses of America, they don't deserve well-made clothes like Ivanka buys from Paris and Italy. Yeah, I'd like to see Ivanka wearing all those clothes made in China and India. Now, I don't know if you heard about this. I'm not a really big Bollywood fan. I mean, I don't watch their movies, but I've gained a little bit more respect for this actress. Her, her name is Deepika something, and uh, apparently she's not going to show up at the conference where... Ivanka's at. She's canceled. So I've gained a little bit more respect for that actress. More on her in a second. But if you're wondering what this billboard is, I think it's something like, Make India Great Again! <laughs> yeah, that's Ivanka's slogan when she's over in India. Make India Great Again! We'll give you all the money we want. Well, anyhow, let's get back to this actress. And um, quite pretty. But uh, like I said, I've, uh, I'm a new fan. Anybody who's willing to cancel out, wherever Ivanka goes and she's going to cancel out, hey, I'm a big fan. Going to have to start watching her movies. I hope they're subtitled. Yeah, okay. So we'll just wind this segment down today looking for some, well, this is not interesting news. It's pathetic news. Yeah. The DA. This is happening all over the country. They use civil asset forfeitures and they give bonuses to the... Government employees, I mean, this is, this is just beyond sick. This is what's wrong with America. This is what's wrong with America. 
40 million government bloodsuckers who are not happy with the pensions and the salary we're giving them. They have to go civil asset forfeitures. They have to come into your house and steal your shit so they get a bonus. Bitcoin, over 10,000. Wow, I wonder how that's going to end. <laughs> Seriously, I wonder how that's going to end. The CIA is going to have a real good party in the end game there. Hey, did I mention that huge factory that broke ground today in America that could put 10,000 American deplorables to work? Did I mention it? Well, I hear that Ivanka is going to get right to it. After she makes her first trillion dollars in India and in China, she's going to reinvest all that money in a factory, possibly down in Kentucky. Yeah, good luck with that.